Hey everybody, so today we're going to be learning how to rig a weapon in Blender 2.8 for animation. First thing you want to do is open up a general file, delete everything you don't want in it, go to file in the top left, go to import, and then wavefront.obj. Now if you don't have any obj files, which is basically just your weapon models, I have a link in the description you can just copy and paste into your search bar, which will uh, download all of the CSGO weapons. And they will all already be in the OBJ format, so you don't have to do any conversion. So if you need weapons, copy and paste that link in the description into your search bar. Click on the wavefront, find your directory to where you have your OBJs, and select whatever gun you want to use. Today we're going to be using the P2000. And now what you want to do is just select the weapon to where it's outlined orange, click tab, and now we have the entire gun in edit mode. And the reason it's all orange is because it's all selected and we don't want to have the whole gun selected. So just click in the distance to deselect it. And then what you want to do is find a moving part on the weapon that you want to move. So say the slide, just click L on one of the black little dots on it. One of the nodes, click L on it. And it will now select that entire slide. Now, if there's any pieces of the slide that aren't selected, just go ahead and select them. So once you have the site selected, there might be something like these ribs here, uh, especially on like the AK-47's magazine. It has those two. Select those. Now, once you have the entire slide selected, make sure you have the entire slide selected. Uh, just click P, selection. And then now that has become an entirely different part of the gun. So if you go up to the gizmos tab and click move, and then go back into object mode by clicking tab, you can click on the slide and move the node. And the slide now moves independently from the gun. So just do this for every other moving part on the weapon. So like the magazine, you just want to click L on one of the nodes. And if you don't know if the entire magazine was selected, you can just kind of phase into the gun with the camera. And if the if the rest of it's orange, then it has been selected. Click P. And now it is a completely different part of the gun. So now we get into rigging it with armatures. So if you don't know what an armature is, basically it's a form of bone in Blender. So go back into object mode, select the, the body. And then you want to find where... The way I do it is I, I usually find like here on the grip... I select one of the nodes, don't click L on it, just select one of the nodes, shift S, cursor to selected, then go back into object mode, shift A, armature. So now it's added this little, little like almost like diamond shape thing right there. Um, do that for the rest of the weapon's parts as well. So take the slide, select the slide or something like that find a part you know roughly in the middle click on the little piece shift s cursor to selected object mode shift a armature and then same for the magazine so click a piece shift s cursor to selected object mode armature so now that you have those you might be thinking well the gun is still moving independently from the rest of the pieces and the armatures so to fix that Click in object mode, click a piece of the gun, so say the body, then shift select the armature you want it to be connected to, then hit control P, then click bone. So now if you click on the armature, the rest of the body moves with the armature. So do the same for the rest of the gun's pieces, so the slide, shift select, control P, bone, and then test it to see if you did it right. Same thing with the mag. So make sure you do it in the order of clicking on the on the object first and then shift selecting the armature. Because if you do it the other way around, you have to use the magazine and it might get confusing. Yeah, now that you have everything working, you basically just want to click on... Don't do this to the body. Only do it to the pieces that you want to be connected to the body. So say the slide. Uh, go down here to this little chain link thing with a circle in it, add object constraint, child of, and then use the little eyedropper tool and eyedrop the body armature. 
and now it'll be offset like that a little bit which we don't want click set inverse so now the arm the armature up here is connected to this one which means it now moves with it so just do the same with the mag click the armature add bone or add object constraint child of eyedropper tool i drop the armature in the body then set inverse and now the entire gun should be moving as an as just a normal gun but you can now mess with the individual pieces of it so now uh what i like to do is i like to rename the armatures to so go up here to your little taskbar thing um select the body type in body or whatever you want to call it slide slide and then the magazine magazine so now the entire gun is rigged it is ready for animation so if you guys did enjoy this video please consider leaving a like and if it helped you out uh leave it in the comments if you have any questions leave it in the comments uh and yeah i will see you guys in the next tutorial bye guys